You've probably heard people talking about this thing called Jevon's paradox, which right. I don't know about you, but I've never heard of Jevon or his paradox re recently because I'm not an economist. But the general idea that if you make things cheaper, people are going to use a lot more of them. Mm -hmm. The paradox being when you make things so much cheaper, so much more efficient, that actually that could be good in the long run for those people who rely on AI. Yeah, I think it was, it was Jevon's. He was back in the 1800s. He was talking about coal and they got more <laughs> efficient and burning coal and they yeah, started exactly. burning, using fast more coal. Fast they use more coal. coal. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah, all energy efficiency, same thing with gasoline and, and more efficient cars. We use more of it because they're more efficient. So it is paradoxical, but I think you actually could, could see the same thing happen with AI. So this sounds like if you're a fan of AI, and obviously it does offer great promise, this is good news for society, I suppose. Yeah, I think it really is. I mean, it may be bad news for open AI or some individual players, although, you know, maybe even, you know, we'll see how things play out in the coming years here. You know, the innovations are going to continue. This game is not over. This is just the latest chapter in a very long book, or maybe one could argue an entire library of books as to what's going to happen here. And I think, you know, there's reason for plenty of optimism for investors and just for the economy more broadly. If, if AI development and large language models become that much more cheaper and we see that many more of them, then you're going to see applicability to that many more use cases and that many more things that we can do with them.